Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is a little weekly update on the rollout of the October 2018 update version 1809. Of course uh, we've had so many reports of problems over the past few weeks that uh, we of course are looking at the rollout even though it's still going very very slowly. It's rolling out, it is, you know, slowly rolling out and one of the things that um, has been reported to add to the list of problems. So we know that there's a iCloud problem if you are using iCloud. Right now it's not working. Microsoft and Apple are working on a fix. Um, if you are also using Windows Media Player, there's a problem with the seeker bar where uh, things are not working right. You know, I, I of course it's a problem and if you're using Media Player, I, I understand that you might be frustrated, but at the same time, I you know, in 2018, I have a lot of difficulty about people still using Media Player, honestly, when there's other um, multimedia apps that are much better, like uh, VLC or DOM Pod Player that, that work great. We uh, have a new little things that some people are reporting, and it has to do with 32-bit software. Some users are reporting that some of their 32-bit software are broken in the update to 2018. Now this is a delicate one because I did look at some of the comments and some of the software reported in the forums. Most of them were really old software, you know, like five, four, five, six year old software. And that kind of hints that maybe, I'm, is it a problem? Is that something that they're going to fix? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm wondering if it's more of a, you know, a natural upgrade thing, meaning that as you move on to newer and more modern versions of Windows, some old software will not be capable of running well in it. But uh, I, I do use a lot of 32-bit uh, software in my Windows 10 operating system here. None of them are broken by the update, so um, I don't know. I don't know what to think about that one, but it is reported enough that it's showing up uh, some people saying that their favorite app of whatever is not working. So we'll see if, an, you know, maybe an update, maybe it's just um, has to do something about um, a module or something in Windows 10 that when we get an update, we'll get a fix out of, uh, of that and it, it's going to work afterwards. Um, we'll see, you know, as time goes by and uh, see. Today is uh, interesting because it's the last Tuesday of the month. And I was uh, thinking about this a little earlier today, by the way, about sometimes in the last Tuesday of the month, we have updates for Windows uh, that have to do with bug fixes. And so I'm wondering, could there be a bug fixing update today on, t on Tuesday? I don't know. We'll be, of course, looking at this. And if anything shows up, I'll be talking about it. For the rest, um, one, I don't see it really uh, in, in the forums because I've been scanning through the different problems. But here reported on the channel and it's been reported by um, a few users, maybe f f three or four or five users. So if I consider that, you know, five users out of all the comments I get, um, some people are reporting that the notifications aren't working in the October 2018 update. Now, are they completely not working or just um, not working with a specific app? I would suggest that you go into your settings and go into system and click on the uh, notifications and maybe stop the notifications for your apps that you want to have them, restart your machine, then turn it on again and see if it changes anything. Um, that, that could be a fix. Also, another thing that some people are reporting is the fact, and you know, this is on every version of Windows, the um, app that have specific uh, links to uh, some files. So, for example, if you have some default uh, apps for videos, for example, like Dompot Player, for example, for me, well, a lot of these defaults are reset. Now, it's not necessarily a problem because most of the time I've seen this happen and I've seen this happen with every upgrade. 
it's is it intentional or not on the part of Microsoft? It's hard to say, but one of the things that does happen is that some of these defaults are reset. But for the most part, and and I've been looking to make sure if people are not reporting that they just can't put them back. No, it's it doesn't seem to be a problem. It just seems to be an annoyance, meaning that you have to go back into your settings and and choose your apps again to reset the default apps to the ones that you want. So that's also something that you uh, should look at for the default apps on Windows 10 October 2018 update. Once again, I want to say that for the majority of users out there that I've been looking at their upgrades and their comments on upgrades, the big majority of all of you are having a smooth update to 1809 with absolutely no problem, meaning the chances of you running into a problem, they're not zero, of course, but they're not that big. So, um, you know, depending on what you want to do. And once again, you know, I, I just want to say if you don't, you know, if you're not a big Windows user, you just do these little things here and there and it works fine. Don't go searching for it. Wait for it to arrive. At some point, it will arrive in your Windows updates. And at some point, well, you'll be able to, you know, just uh, enjoy this new update because by pushing it, you of course have more risks involved, where if it gets in Windows updates, that means your machine is pretty much compatible with it, and that's why they're pushing it. So wait for it. Don't, don't push it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.